Today we're taking a look at shave scuttles. More specifically, Naked Armor's shave scuttles. And whether you should go with their ceramic or their new stainless steel. Naked Armor sent out their stainless steel shave scuttle with their silver fox shave set. And when I knew that they were going to be sending this one to me, I asked them if they would go ahead and send me their ceramic one as well so that I could do a side-by-side -side comparison. And that is precisely what we are doing today. Now before I can tell you the differences, I'm going to go ahead and point out some of the similarities. Basically, it starts all at the base of the scuttle. They are both basically about the same size. They both have a handle. They both have the same size spout on them as well. The inside little grooves or ridges are the same pattern. So one's not going to get a better lather than the other one just because of the ridges. And they both basically hold the same amount of water inside as well as shave soap or lather in the bowl itself. Now that's really where the similarities end. The first main difference that I noticed when using them is the handles. One is a great handle and one not so much. As I mentioned on the review for the stainless steel scuttle, it's got a completely round handle which to me just made it really hard to grab onto and it always wanted to slip whenever I was making lather in it and it just wasn't very comfortable. But the ceramic one has a nice flat handle on it. It's much more like your typical coffee mug. It's easy to hold on to and none of my fingers need to touch the actual bowl portion itself. Where the stainless steel one here, I really had to brace the bowl itself with my finger to be able to get it so that it wouldn't always want to slide down, which normally wouldn't be an issue. However, you are putting hot water into a stainless steel bowl, which means pretty much the entire bowl warms up to the same temperature that your water is. And I like to use hot water, which meant that my little finger here was definitely getting awfully hot. So the only way that I found that I could really use this was by putting it down on top of the sink and making my lather that way, which just really isn't comfortable because for me making lather in these bowls, it really helps to have the bowl at kind of an angle to be able to really whip up that shave soap well. So obviously that is one downfall to the stainless steel. However, I do have to say that the stainless steel warms up quicker and it warms up the lather probably about twice to maybe even two and a half times what I could get out of the standard ceramic. The stainless steel, I never had to pre-warm and let it sit. I did sometimes just because I didn't feel like doing it when I got out of the shower. However, I definitely could just do it right when I got out of the shower, put the hot water in there, put the soap in there, and just start lathering or mixing it, and it would start warming the lather almost instantly. Where with the ceramic bowl, unfortunately, it does take a while for that ceramic to get up to any temperature that you have in the reservoir which even then it's still not going to get up to the full temperature after all that is why we use ceramic for drinking coffee because it doesn't get as hot on the outside as what's inside of it well you're basically putting hot water on the outside of a coffee mug and expecting it to warm up the lather or the soap as much as it can and I found that even pre putting hot water in this before a shower so that then it could warm up, it still didn't get as hot or as warm as the stainless steel, which I found kind of disappointing because after using this one for a while first, this one just was kind of a letdown. Now, mind you guys, these are the first scuttles that I've ever used. I don't know if other scuttles that are ceramic have a thinner bowl inside of them, so maybe they might warm up a little bit more. I can only tell you guys my experience with the Naked Armor Scuttles. 
Now for the durability. Obviously, I didn't test that because, let's face it, ceramic versus stainless steel, I think we know who's going to win that one. The stainless steel one is not going to break. It is not going to chip. It is not going to explode on you if you accidentally hit it up against your sink. This one, however, from using a shave bowl that was ceramic, will absolutely do that with no hesitation. This also makes a very loud noise when you happen to hit it up against something else that is ceramic. That really is kind of bone chilling sometimes and made me really be super careful about how hard I set this down on my sink or to make sure that it didn't accidentally bump up against it while I was making lather. So on that front, the stainless steel is definitely a better option, especially I think if you have kids or if you're like me and you don't have an actual countertop by your sink to set this down on. I was very nervous that it was gonna fall off of the ledge or I was gonna accidentally bump it while shaving and it would definitely break if it fell onto my tub or onto my floor. Where this one, I didn't really have to worry about it at all. The most that I had to worry about with the stainless steel and its durability is its little stopper here. Because as I mentioned in the full review, I did lose one of those. Now I do kind of wish that this one came with the same actual cork that the ceramic one does. But I'm guessing that they couldn't find a good fitting pre-made cork that would fit in there, but honestly, I think that they could have made this hole just a little bit bigger to accommodate the actual cork. However, I do understand why they made the decision to go with a rubber stopper because it definitely does look nice with the stainless steel scuttle. Another observation about the stainless steel scuttle, and I did a quick Google. I don't know if other companies have it or not. However, with my quick Google foo and my Amazon check, Naked Armor was the only one that I saw that had a stainless steel scuttle. And I think that if you're somebody that travels a lot or somebody that has kids or somebody that just doesn't want to have to be careful with their shave scuttle, I think that honestly, this is probably your better option. Now, if you're somebody that probably would like a little more weight and a little more heft with their shave scuttle, I think that the ceramic one would probably definitely be the way to go. It's also a little bit more old timey and a little bit more nostalgic than something like a stainless steel one is. Also, if you like really hot water, at least putting it into the scuttle, this is definitely going to be your best option for holding on to it and not burning yourself but you then have the downside of that it's not getting the soap inside quite as warm as your stainless steel. Now, as it a lot of times comes down to price, when you are looking at two basically the same function of products, is which one is more expensive and which one is gonna be your better value. Well, as far as the value go, like I just said, it kinda depends on what you want in a scuttle. However, the stainless steel is more expensive than your standard ceramic. However, it's not as big of a difference as you might think. The ceramic scuttle comes in on Amazon at about $22 and $30 on their website. The stainless steel comes in for a pre-order of $40 on their website. So really there's only about $10 difference on their website when you are comparing the two. So it really comes down to what it is that you're looking for in a shave scuttle. If you want to pick up either of these, make sure to check out the links down below. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, you might want to check out Naked Armor's other products that I've reviewed, which you can check out in this playlist right here. Down below, that's going to be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.